Hello everyone, my name is Adam and welcome to the Vintage Sanctuary, a place where we can take a break from the cares of the world and together enjoy the collecting of vintage cards. I'm here with my friend Al, Alpine Fur. He just prefers to be called Al Fur though because he's not a pine, he's definitely a fur. And I actually have a new card to show today. In fact, it just came in the mail today. Now I'm not going to speak any hints about which card it is, but you guys are so sharp, you know, you'll probably figure it out before I even show you the card. I mean, that's just amazing to me. Now I am going to show you the, uh, the package it came in because I guess a lot of YouTubers do that. And I had thought, well, isn't that gonna show away my address? But I guess it's a way to validate that you actually got in the, car the card in the mail. So I am going to go ahead and turn the camera around and show you the package. All right, you ready, Al? Yeah, I know it's going to be your first time on YouTube. I know you're on pins and needles. Actually, I think you're just on needles, but you've got some gorgeous new growth, man. Nice and soft. Oh, you look great. You're going to do great. All right. Just be confident. Okay. All right, everybody. Here's the package I was talking about. There it is. Just came in the mail today. So we are going to head inside and take a look. Hey, guys, here it is. The big reveal. This card has been on my went list for a long time, but I was just waiting for the right card to come along at the right price at the right time. Well, my collector friends, that time has come. Thank you for sharing in my joy. And if you recently picked up a card you were excited about, I would love to hear about it so I can share in your joy as well. Let's go ahead and take a closer look here. Wow, this card is just stunning. 1951 Bowman, number two, Yogi Berra, in an SGC 2.5 Good Plus. Beautiful color. Wonderful centering. Nice, clean back. Back is well-centered, too. Wow. Look at this museum-quality vintage art. With just the right amount of corner and edge wear and surface crinkly wrinklies that I consider this card a vintage gem mint tin. Now, you might say, Adam, you are a mathematician. How in the world did you get a 10 from 2.5? Well, I got 10 from 2.5 by simply multiplying by 4, because 4 times 2.5 equals 10. Hey, it's hard to argue with a mathematician. By the way, this card did come in the mail today, that is, on the day I am recording this video, and it did come in the package I showed earlier, which I had not opened yet. Of course, the USPS label was on the other side of the bubble mailer. By adding this card, I now have a 1951 Bowman Hall of Famer in my collection. And as you no doubt noticed if you watched my 1952 Topps Yogi Berra video, I'm pretty fond of Yogi Berra, and I'm always excited to add another one of his vintage cards to my collection. Of course, 1951 Bowman is the set with the Mickey Mantle rookie card. Should the 1951 Bowman Mickey Mantle cost more than the 1951 Bowman Yogi Berra? I think so, but how much more? The 1951 Bowman Mantle is his rookie card, and while Yogi was an amazing player with many amazing accolades, I don't hear anyone suggesting Yogi was a better player than the Mick. Both were Yankees and both are cultural icons. So how much more should the Mick be worth than the Yogi, in the same grade? Maybe twice as much for the Mick? How about 10 times as much? That's quite a multiplier. That would mean you could get 10 1951 Bowman Yogis for just one 1951 Bowman Mantle. It just so happens a 1951 Bowman Mickey Mantle in an SGC 2.5, the same grade as my Berra here, sold on eBay within the last month so let's compare its cost to what I paid for my 1951 Barra in the same grade. The mantle sold at auction for $11,222, or 
with a whopping $207 of shipping fees. But I won't include the shipping costs because if we bought multiple Barras, we would have multiple shipping costs. I won this Barra at auction for $137.50 plus $4.75 shipping. Comparing without the shipping costs, $11,222 divided by $137.50 is roughly 81.6. Hmm. What's the better collector value? One 1951 Bowman Mickey Mantle? Or a rough estimate of 80, yes, 80, 1951 Bowman Yogi Berras? I would love to have a Mickey Mantle rookie card, but I think I would take the 80 Yogi Berras instead. I would keep a few of them for myself, but it would be really cool to trade the rest with other collectors. Would love to hear your thoughts on this. If you want to hang around, there is some card meditation at the end of this video. Thank you again for sharing in my joy and listening to my thoughts. I hope you had a wonderful and peaceful time in the Vintage Sanctuary.